Hey guys, it's Katie Sparta here with the third part of Knife Only Nazi Zombies on Kino Del Toten. Um, right here is the beginning of level 17 in a little bit. I just took the teleporter to kill them all off. While I was up here, I think I upgrade. Yeah, I upgrade my ballistic knife. I don't really know why I did that. I upgrade both of them. That's probably a pretty stupid move because now that I upgraded them, I won't get as good of drops. Like. I won't get as many max ammo as insta kills as if I didn't have upgraded weapons. But now I guess I don't even know why I did that. I guess they look cooler, but really it was a stupid move. I should have saved my money. And then in this room, I may have grabbed a tape. Yeah, I grabbed one of the tapes. There's tapes, and I'll see it like right next to my where my grenades are and my where my score is. You see a little tape that when you go back up in the teleporter again you can hold square next to the um like film player and it plays a little clip you'll see that later on but all you do is when you go into the one of the, one of the rooms you just hold square and then walk around and then you can find it and you'll pick it up by holding square so i'm doing i'm just trying to get back to the stage because it spawns you on a bad side and I'm gonna wait for this to cool down because you really need that teleporter. Because when you do your stage method loops, and then when you run out of claymores, you do your loop twice, run out of claymores, take them into the teleporter, and then that's basically all you do the whole time. So here I drag them back because I was coming from the side over there where I'm looking right now, and when you come from over there, you have it's pretty tricky because they're all be, gonna be coming from over there. But if you take some time and run around with them, you can usually get them going where you want. See, I can't do much here. I'm getting them. I'm getting them in a big group now. So I'm gonna start um, having some troubles. Basically, you just wanna group them up like this. It takes a while, but I think I get them here. Yep, there it is. Now, this is the first wave. This is all the zombies of the first wave. So, once I have them tightly packed, I'm going to take them. I'm going to put a claymore down. You want to put it down. You don't want to put it down too far back. Because if you put it down too far back, they're going to... The first one will trip it. But if you put it inside of the pack, the first few won't get hit by it at all. So, you really want to time it right. I mean, you'll figure it out. But, usually you can get one claymore per pack. So... What you're gonna get is you're gonna get the first spawn, the first like wave of zombies, and you'll get them all with your first claymore. And then the second wave, you'll group them all up again. I'm just trying to get all these uh, fire sails right now, but with the second group of zombies, you'll be able to use your um, second claymore. And then once you have your third group, you'll be able to take the teleporter and that'll kill them all off. But there's more groups than that, you just gotta wait for the teleporter to cool down. Link that all up. I'm sure I'm gonna turn on another air. Or no, I'd probably go back to the stage and do that big escapade of trying to group them back up again. Usually, if you do in one of these big loops when you're using your knife, it's pretty tricky to get them looped up again. So I just turn on a teleporter. I mean, not the teleporter, turn on the one of the traps. But, I'm pretty sure because since I did it that last time I figured out that if you just run around a whole bunch and just keep on avoiding the main group you can get it pretty good get them into a good group and then do your loops again so like here you're gonna see me try it and I get lucky because they spread themselves out they weren't in a big group but normally if you had like a whole wave of zombies chasing you around the big loop and then you came in here It'd be impossible to start this loop again, so you'd have to turn on a trap. So I link this up, take it up, and when I'm up here, you see me hold square next to this, and then I'll watch the screen. So if you look at the screen there, now it's going to give you a little show. It's, I think it's like a war. I don't know if you can see it on that screen there. It's like a war film. I'll go down. When I go down there, I go and watch it from the podium. So, I'm going to come down here and show you guys that. So, 
like yeah if you didn't have that tape you just go around the outside of the room holding squares as, as you saw me looking for another one I'm gonna run up there and then you'll see it's just I got a bunch of crawlers from all my grenades it's kind of annoying that they take so many hits now it gets to the point where it's not really knife only it's more explosive and teleporter and trap only but you can't really do it any other way so like as you see it's just some weird pictures and like uh, it's just some creepy shit. I don't really understand it. If anybody knows like a story behind it or something like that, that'd be cool. And for those of you that don't know, if you upgrade your original pistol that you get, you get dual welded grenade shooting pistols. It's pretty awesome. But like I was saying before, upgrading any weapons when you're in knife only is pointless because really all you're doing is just making it so you get less drops, less max ammo, less in skills, double points, and carpenters. Another thing when you're playing like with shooting, a really important thing is that if you get a weapon that you really like, say like the RPK or like the Thunder Gun, don't go upgrading it right away because all you're doing by upgrading it is like wasting that huge amount of ammo that you have before you upgrade it. So like say you have 200 bullets before you upgraded your weapon and then you go and upgrade to get like 400 you just wasted that 200 bullets it's so like what you want to do is use that gun until it's all out of ammo and then upgrade it basically upgrading for money or for ammo and then just go through the go to the box and just get whatever gun it gives you use it, all of its ammo upgrade it use all that ammo and then go to the box again just like don't be picky on which gun you have that's the way I've made it to like levels above the like, 20s or so and that's like easily we'll have another video like getting into the 50s with me and JJ playing um, online co-op or whatever you call it because we've made it that far many times and then we'll try recording it and we'll get to like level 30 and get down for something really stupid <coughs> pardon me yeah, so that, that happens a lot to us. It's kind of annoying because it'll be something like really stupid that normally never happens. And then they go, okay, screw it. We're just not going to record. We're just going to have some fun. And then we'll get to like level 50. I mean, I don't know why, but it's just really annoying. So you see, I'm just waiting for this trap to run out so I can go up there again. Kill the remaining few. Getting about 5 minutes into this video, and there's only like 15 minutes left. This whole thing. So there'll be like one more episode, and I'll have links to all of these, like, so from part two to part one, there'll be a link at the beginning of the video in part, and then from part two to part three, there'll be a link, and all that good stuff. Also, the only reason why there's so many of these creepy crawlers is because I went into all the rooms after round seven, because round seven is when they all break in, and like attack you so if you are planning on only doing the stage method the best thing to do is before round seven get onto the stage and then once you're on the stage just stay there and don't leave it because then the only creepy crawlers that will be in there are the ones from the stage and there will be very few so if you were to say open all of the doors and all the to go to all the rooms and then go through all of them Everybody knows how when you go through a room it like makes that like cracking and breaking noise. That's all of them breaking in. So if you can like prevent going into all the rooms and doing that, it will cut back on the amount of creepy crawlers, which they get really annoying, especially when you're shooting at them because then they laugh the Nova gas. Well, that's really all I have to say for this video. I'll have like the next one will only be about five minutes because it's wrapping up now. Um. Comment and tell me what you thought you liked and what you like learned from this and if you want me to continue doing commentaries. If you if you liked it, please like it. If you didn't like it, just dislike it and tell me that you why you didn't like it. So thanks for the feedback guys. Bye.